literally the coolest bed I've ever seen. Marble, which actually does change color. Comment below if they're good or them all to comment down below which one you think I got. Hello and welcome back to the channel everyone. Today we are going to get a betta fish finally for our divided betta tank. So before we get into it, make sure you guys smash that like button. Let's try to get 10 likes. 10 likes, that's it. 10 likes. Let's try and get 10 likes. I don't I don't know if you guys can do it. I don't know if enough of you are watching. Also, comment down below what better you think I'm gonna get in this video and hit that subscribe button because we are on our way to 100,000 so we can get a YouTube plaque, an entire plaque with the channel name on it. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on that post notification bell because I have tons and tons of bangers. But without further ado, the last few days I have been looking at different bettas, at different pet stores, at the bettas that they've been carrying, and I found a few that I like. So let me go ahead and roll the footage of the last few stores I've gone to and the bettas they've had. Here you go. So right now I'm in PetSmart and I'm gonna take a look at the bettas they have, but I gotta be careful recording. That one is so cool. Also this one back here, oh, I love blue and white together. They also have this one. They have a lot of blue and white ones. This one is definitely my favorite. Whoa. That's literally the coolest bed I've ever seen. I think I might have to get this. And I think I wanna get a male, probably like two males or like this all white one. I don't know, they have a lot of cool bettas in right now. Even though they don't have many, the ones they do have are pretty cool. What's down here? Is this a koi? This is a yellow. Looks like a yellow koi. This one I really like as well. Yellow is also one of my favorite colors. But how cool would that look in the divided tank to have like this koi and then that male on the side of it? Okay, so after looking for a few days, I have not found a betta that I want. So I had to go to a store that's a little further out. And I'm really hoping that they have a betta in here that I would like to purchase. I still don't know if I want a male or a female betta because I would like to breed bettas in the future, but I think the male, I think the other side is gonna be a male. So I don't know, I have to decide, but we're gonna see what they have in there for bettas and maybe that'll make my decision for me. So let's head in and see what bettas they have. Okay, wish me luck, I'm gonna try and film. First go to the ones that are back here. Actually it looks like they only have like moss balls and stuff back here. So I guess I need to go to the front and see what they have. All right, so over here, we got some oh, baby bettas, but I'm not gonna get a baby betta. So let me see if there's any that aren't babies. For a male betta, there is the, oh, oh no. There is this crown tail, which is pretty cool. There's this female, oh no, this is a male. That's really cool, it has like purple and stuff and then red. They also do have this platinum dragon, which I really, really like. So this this is a contester here. So I have this blue and white marble, which actually does change color and I really like his pattern. So that might be one as well. They also have this white opal. So I kind of like that one too. They also have this koi male. They have another platinum dragon. They do also have these and I've never used them before. So comment below if they're good or bad or if I should do a video on them too. Now on this side, this one is really cool guys. Look at this, it's a half moon male. Very, very cool looking better. So I might have to get that one too. Now down here, it looks like it's just a bunch more males and some females. Let's check out this female here. Kind of like a blue and white type of female. More like red and white females and a baby, another baby. An employee came by, so I gotta be really careful. But there are a few different ones that I wanna get. So I'm gonna line them up on the shelf and then pick out which one I should get. Make sure when I show you them all to comment down below which one you think I got and which one you think I should get. I don't know if these are new, but I've never seen a blood moon male. This is like really cool. I typically don't like red betta fish unless it's like a koi, but this one's super vibrant. So there's, there's this one that's like blue and white and like a half moon male. And then there's this one that's like blue and white, but has like stripes, kind of looks like a cow. It's like a marble male. And then this one though, I really like this one because it's like all white, like this dragon one. And then there's this one that has like more black. That's like the same thing as this. All right, I gotta be really careful filming, but I think I picked out which one I want. This is the stuff for another video, but I can't decide if I want the male platinum or the marble. Okay, so I'm super excited to bring home the betta and put it in the quarantine tank. I decided to go with the Platinum Dragon betta fish is like a very white betta on camera. Probably looks a little bit darker, but when I get it in the tank, you can probably really see the colors of it. Well, or the the one white color <laughs> and a little bit of black. But I'm really excited to have this betta because I've always wanted a dragon betta, and I think this is the perfect tank to get one. So now it's time to go home and actually acclimate it to the quarantine tank, so we can go ahead and quarantine it for a few weeks before putting it into the divided betta tank. So I'll see you guys home. Hopefully, it's an easy ride with this fish, and we can get it in its tank. So right here is our betta. I just brought it inside, and now like I said, it will be going in this quarantine tank for a few weeks just to make sure it's really healthy before it goes into our 10 gallon tank here which i will be redoing this side so stay tuned for next video because huge upgrades coming to this tank but in the meantime we need to go ahead and acclimate our brand new 
Platinum Dragon Male Betta. We do need to go ahead and acclimate them to this tank here. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump out some of this water. And I'm gonna go ahead and slowly drip acclimate water from this aquarium into his little cup here. And once the water volume is doubled, then it'll be about half the water that he already had and half the water from his new quarantine tank. It'll probably take about 20 minutes for him to be fully acclimated. And then we can go ahead and put him in here. I do have this thing right here, which is good for like sucking out stuff on the bottom of the tank and everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to use this to suck up some water, about half of the water in here. All right, so that right there is exactly half the water. Now it is time to get out some water from here and start drip acclimating it into his cup. So I'm gonna go ahead and just suck some of this water out, try and get it into focus here. And then I'm just gonna sit here and slowly drip in just a little bit of water at a time until the water volume is doubled. So let's go ahead and run a time lapse. While the betta is acclimating to the water, I just want to go ahead and say that the reason that there is not a heater in my tanks is because I keep the room at 80 degrees and it's consistent. And I also do have a thermometer where I check the tanks almost every day to make sure. Right now, because I'm filming, I turned it down a couple degrees, but it is 78 in here currently. So I'm just waiting for the betta to acclimate. I need about 10 more minutes and then I can go ahead and put them into the tank. Now, even though it's a quarantine tank, while I was at the store, I did pick up another plant to put in here just because I felt like it needed something else in the back and also something else for him to kind of like hide in and feel protected by it. So I decided to get this plant here. It's called a narrow leaf and there's a lot of stems here. So I think it's gonna be perfect to fill in that back corner. And now I just need to go ahead and open it and take off the fertilizer and stuff like that. And we can put it in the tank. So while he's acclimating, let's go ahead and put in his new plant. All right, so I gotta go ahead and open up our plant. And now I'm gonna carefully go ahead and just take it out. Hey, Oakley. Not up here, buddy. So right here is our plant. As you can see, you wanna get all of that gel and white things off. That is the fertilizer and it does not need to be in the tank. Right, now it is rinsed. I gotta go ahead and clean up this stuff so the cats don't get it. And then I will go ahead and put the plant in the tank. Like I said, in this back corner, I think is gonna be the best spot for it. I need to bury it. So I'm gonna need to get some sand. I'm actually gonna go ahead and use some of these bigger pieces of sand just cause I'm having a hard time burying it. All right, so now our new plant is in there. I also kind of added more of the bigger pieces of sand. And so now it's kind of like up against the rock and there's kind of like a pathway going to the back there, which I think is pretty cool. So now it looks like this and I think it looks a lot better with that other plant. So I think our betta is fully acclimated now. I'm gonna go ahead and use my hand after I wet it and let's go ahead and get in our brand new betta into the quarantine tank. All right, so we got the betta right here. I'm gonna go ahead and take this top off. All right, so I took out some of the water from the container to make it a lot easier on myself, but I'm gonna make sure my hand is fully wet. I'm gonna put it in the tank here and I'm just gonna go ahead and scoop him up. Come here, buddy. And there he goes into his quarantine tank. Before I turn the light off, let's get my kitten's reaction to the new betta. You see it, buddy? No, you're distracted by the plant that you can't have. But I'm gonna go ahead and let the betta settle in. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off this light. All right, I'm gonna give the betta a little bit of time to settle in and I will give you guys an update in a little while. Okay, so it's been a little while. Let's go ahead and check on the betta. I better look at him. Looks like he's adjusting pretty well. He's just kind of swimming around slowly and checking everything out, finding his little hiding spots. So he's doing pretty well. The only thing is now, what are we going to name him? So comment down below all of your names for this betta fish. I have no idea what to name him. And if there's one I like, I'll go ahead and pick it. Right now, he's just really liking that plant in the back corner. He loves swimming through it already. So seems pretty good. We are gonna quarantine him for three to four weeks, even though he does seem healthy, just to make sure that there's nothing wrong with him that he could give to the snail or the shrimp that are in there or so that he doesn't infect the entire tank. But in the meantime, he definitely has a really cool tank. It's basically a full aquarium. I mean, he has plants, he's got some rock, he's got a filter, some sand. 
But that is it for this video, guys. Like I said, I'm super excited to be getting this beta. Comment down names below for him because I don't know what to name him yet. I'm just kind of thinking of random names. Super happy with my choice of this beta. Like this video, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in a couple days when we go ahead and upgrade this tank here. But until then, make sure to check out my Instagram and my TikTok, and I'll see you guys in a few days.